this exhibition is great, partially because George Bellows is sort of our hometown hero in the art world. Uh, but also, you know, we tried to do um, some different things with this exhibition. One was to contextualize him, to put him in the worlds that he painted. So it's a nice, tight, concise show. It shows everything that George Bellows was. Great paintings are here in New York from the National Gallery, Stag, from, uh, Stag at Sharkey's from the Cleveland Museum of Art. Our paintings are all out looking fabulous. We've got drawings. We have early works that he did at OSU. We have some works that he did in the last year of his life that might surprise people. Um, we look at everything from his city scenes to his portraits to seascapes, which are magnificent. So if you just want to come and get like that really good meaty taste of George Bellows, it's here. Really from the very beginning, he was such an experimentalist and he believed that artists should have the right to experiment, to go in whatever direction they wanted, whether it was a direction he did or not, because he didn't always follow a lot of the more modernist, abstract trends, but he embraced their ability to do that. He, he supported them and he, all throughout his career, you see him pushing himself and pushing the limit. And you know, he could have stayed painting those New York scenes forever and people would have loved him and we would have loved him. And he just moved constantly and responded and tried out different things. And he even says that, try stuff, you know, learn your possibilities. And I, I think that underwrites his entire career as well. And it certainly, in some sense, holds together the show.